Hi guys, so let's look at what was in the rest of my other nail art advent calendar first before we go on to the nails. So day 19 we've got Galactic. I did have a Galactic in the other one. I'm not sure which one I prefer, possibly the Charlie's nail art one. Uh, day 20. I managed to open the envelope this time. <laughs> There's some really pretty foils from this... Um, Sparkle Supplies Advent Calendar Super nice Tempting The little love heart glitters Can you see those? Day 22 Sorry I'm still a bit sniffly I think everyone is Oh that is a really pretty nail foil That would be good for a Valentine's Day one I feel <laughs> Day 23, what have we got going on here? Very pink glitter. Not a pink person, but we'll see what I can do with that. And the last one, what have we got? Oh, pretty gems. So in today's video, I'm showing you the first half of my new winter set because I want, I didn't know whether to go with a winter set just because I want to use all the glitters that I've got <laughs> or a new year set. So I just kind of thought, oh, I'll go with another winter one. So we're going to make a nail like that icicle nail I've done in my previous videos. So we're starting off with that silk Dali Artistic shade. And then on the second coat, with it uncured, we're using that golden blue diamond glitters mix. And we're just going to pour that over. Oh, it's such a pretty glitter. I love that. Just pour it all over and then cure it for your normal time. I really love this glitter. And then we're going to matte top coat that. Because then I want to do the... Um, 3d acrylic design of the icicles on the top of the nail so this is going to be the little fingernail so the smallest one i really like it with a matte top coat i don't know why just i think it looks good i have buffed it and done another layer of matte top coat just uh, just because the glitter was a bit too chunky so I'm going in with my sort of medium-y detailer brush to do the snow and the icicles on top of the nail so before when I did this nail I I only did one coat of white and I didn't like how it turned out so I'm doing this first coat um, and then curing it and then putting a second coat on to pour the acrylic onto. So I'm just doing the main icicles coming down there. And then I'm going to bridge in between them with sort of like a little arch. To make, um, to make it look like they're all joined together. Like naturally formed, I suppose. So then we're going to do another coat over that after it's cured and obviously doing the acrylic you don't cure this um, until you've poured the acrylic over it. So we're just going over that lines, those lines that we've already done with a second coat And then we're going to pour the acrylic on top of that layer so it can soak up and become a 3D design. <laughs> I really do like these sort of 3D acrylic designs. So we're just going to pour that over until there's no more shiny bits. It took me quite a while actually because the top bit just stayed shiny like it wasn't soaking it up but eventually it was fine I think that's ready to go in the lamp so I do usually cure that for a little bit longer than usual so 
So we're just going to brush away that excess acrylic, leaving your design and your pretty glitter nail. So the other little fingernail, I'm using all things peppermint. So we're using that Madame Glam Peppermint Kiss as the base coat. Oh, I do like Madame Glam polishes. They do go on really well. And then when using that peppermint glitter from Sparkle Supplies Day 1 Advent Calendar, I absolutely love this glitter. It is so nice. I'm definitely going to be buying some more of this. Um, this is going on top of an uncured layer. And then it'll go in the lamp. And then we're going to put a foundation, a base coat over it. So that, because um, I want to draw some a snowflake and maybe... Maybe more snow, I don't know, um, on top of this nail. So we don't want to do a no wipe top coat because then the rest of the design isn't going to stick very well to it. So if we do a base coat, we'll be able to do the rest of the design. So we're going in with the... I'm not sure if I use the Beatles gel white polish or Dolly Artistic one. I think it's the Beatles one. So... I'm sort of doing like a big star bust for the snowflake. So just a little bit different than I've done them before. I do like it, but I wish I would have actually stamped this, this on. Just because, uh, because it was the sort of little fingernail. It, it was obviously not a very big canvas to work on. But if you just pull it out from in middle, it does look like a nice starburst sort of to start with, doesn't it? I decided to cure that in between just so it didn't go all blobby together. <laughs> so we're just putting um, two sort of branches. I don't know what you call them on snowflakes. No idea. On the top and bottom, like going up and down and then just one branch on the um, left and right arms so just extending that a little bit oh I should have covered this in acrylic that would have been nice but never mind too late for that I decided this was a bit too thick of a design so I went in with this Brill Bird uh, dark silver gel paint so I'm gonna sort of do the design in the middle so it looks like it's got so it's a silver snowflake with a white outline if you know what I mean I really like this gel pen it is a really nice silver yeah because at first I wasn't sure whether just to do like a blob in the middle but then I was like no I'm <laughs> I'm doing it all doing it all so sort of like with the starburst, just pull, pull out from the middle. I do eventually do it on all of the arms and all of the branches as well. But I think it looked really nice in the end. But yes, I do still wish that I had stamped this nail. So do all of the little branches. And of course we're going to go around and dot and do all of the <laughs> little snow bits, aren't we? I think I do actually do like maybe one other tiny starburst just to finish that nail. Yeah, see, there's one at the top and one at the bottom. <laughs> so then we are going to shiny top coat that one. Because that's definitely a shiny one. Definitely needs to be a shiny one. See, I could have actually done that nail with that Mermaid Tears Beatles gel polish, but I really wanted to use that peppermint glitter, so... <laughs> now for this one, I'm using that white and slate colour. Um, doing sort of like an ombre style, but I really only want the purple at the bottom of the nail. Sort of like a, a Frozen-inspired set like a Frozen 2 inspired set, I think this one is really. Um, 
It just reminds me of a dress at the end. So we're going in with the white. And I've cured that and I'm now going in to do sort of the ombre cut. Just because I wanted the white base to be more at the top. Now this doesn't sort of work <laughs> the first time. Um, just because it was a bit more purple than I would have liked over the whole of the nail. Um, so I'm using my Beatles Gel Ombre Brush. Um, but yeah, it just sort of go a bit further up than I would have liked. So I end up having to put on more white. Because I think I should have started with more white. Um, oh, I've gone off shot. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm very sorry. So, yeah, I put on more white because I just wanted the purple to be a little bit at the bottom, that's all. You know, like, sort of how I was going for, but, yeah. See what I mean? And then I want to use these glitters, uh, one from Diamond Glitters and one from Sparkle Supplies. Um, just to sort of dot on to the bottom of that nail. So I bought myself a little silicone tool just to sort of grab the glitter. It's really good actually. Because um, I don't want to like cover it. I just want to, uh, you know, put like individual bits like up. Can you see the sort of like what I'm going for with um, with her dress? at the end of the second one so we're just sort of doing it over the purpley bits at the bottom and sort of up a little bit of the side of the nail oh, I really love that film so we're using that iridescent ice and oh, I can't remember what the other one was called you saw the name and then we'll cure that and I decided to matte top coat this. I thought it might look nice. However, it took away most of the colour. Like, took away most of the purple. So, <laughs> well, you'll see um, when it comes out of the lamp. But <sighs> never mind. We live and we learn. So I go over it <laughs> once it comes out of the lamp. I go up with shiny top coat. But that's a good thing that you can uh, swap and change. So it's not the end of the world. So you see it's really dulled it down. I just, I want it, like, you can barely see the purple. So we're going over it with shiny. <laughs> you can see it so much better when it's shiny. I mean, look, even just like that, you can see the purple coming back through. And that's what I was going for in the end, so. Yeah, we'll pop that in the lamp, and then that's that one. See, much better. And then this next nail we're going in with, I'm trying out the Dali Artistic White Gel Polish, which I really do like, actually. Um, not sure whether I like it more than the Beatles one. Then for my second coat, I'm going over it with silk, that Dali Artistic shade, it's sort of a sparkly white, rather than two coats of the normal white. So this is another um, winter tartan nail, plaid, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going in with um, slate, because this is sort of like a purpley turquoise frozen inspired set so we're going in with that slate for a a vertical line i'm not going to double coat it because i actually feel it looks a bit more realistic without double coating it because you sort of have the semi-opaque lines and then in the middle you've got the darker You know, sort of where tartan plaid designs would cross. They're always darker in that, that little sort of square bit. 
you see what I mean? So then it, I don't know, I think it looks a bit more authentic that way. So we're going to do two lines horizontally, one at the top and one on the bottom. And I don't obviously want it to look like there's hardly anything there, so I do make sure there is enough on my brush, but yeah, I do want that little square to be darker than the rest. And we're going in with that pastel green Dali Artistic shade. Um, that is going to be a line down this side. I wish I'd used a smaller detail brush, but never mind. We started it, got to finish it. <laughs> I have actually double coated that line just because it looked a bit washed out without it. So we're going to do a thicker line going across just under that top purple line. So this is sort of a little bit different from my other tans, just, just a little bit. But I think it looks better than the other ones I've done before. So now we're going in with a sort of like um, it's like a pinky, purpley, magenta -y colour um, down at the other side of that vertical line. And then we're going to do it just above that bottom horizontal line. Because I, I feel this looks better than the other tartan ones I've done. However... It definitely needs some sparkle. So we're just going to finish that purple line. Yeah, so it definitely needs sparkle, doesn't it? So we're going to go in with that Mermaid Tears um, Beatles Gel Polish shade. Just to go over that turquoise line with my little detailer brush. So trying not to go over the purple line, because obviously the turquoise one was underneath the magenta -y shared one. So I'm doing my best to uh, keep it in its own little lines. So just going over that, and I think that just gives it what an extra little bit because we're going to shiny top coat this and I think it needed glitter. It definitely needed glitter. Yeah, so we're going over this with shiny top coat. I mean, you could have matte top coated it, but I didn't want to dull the glitter. And I think this is mainly going to be a shiny, shiny set. <laughs> Apart from that icicles nails. Don't forget to cap your free edge and pop that in the lamp. That's that nail. So this is the last nail that I'm going to show you in this part one of my winter nail set. So I'm showing you five nails in each because I thought it's going to be way too long um, if I just do one video. Um, so we're starting off with this white Dali Artistic shade. We're not double coating it because we're going in with this nail foil glue because we're doing a nice pretty nail foil and this is kind of, this is the nail foil that we use um i use to make my wedding nails so i really like it <laughs> anyway so we're putting this on um curing this for 60 seconds see it's very sort of like like that dress from Frozen as well, isn't it? Um, I really liked it anyway. Um, so just sort of smooth it down, all the bits that you can. Um, but it doesn't really matter if some bits are missing because you can just go back in afterwards like I do um, and just do the extra little bits because it's not going to be the entirety of this nail. We are going to do design on top. So like I'm doing, you can just... Go in afterwards and just do the bits that it didn't get. 
I mean, obviously you can try and match up the colours, but like I say, it doesn't really matter for this nail that I was sort of envisioning. So we're going to go in with a base coat because we're doing more designs on this anyway. But I don't cure this. I put the glitter on top of this. So we're going to use those. Um, I think it's the, yeah, it's the golden blue mix again. So I'm just going to dot them. I sort of follow the pattern like a little bit. Um, but I just... If you see what I mean, yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> and I'm using that iridescent ice as well from uh, Sparkle Supplies. I really like that glitter. I'm going to have to use a lot more of it, I think. I'm going to have to buy a lot more. I'm drawing like a purpley snowflake with this. So I've mixed that slate with a bit of white and... And just... Going in, um, doing a snowflake like before. I've cured that in between just because I didn't want it to blob together. I didn't really know where I was going with this nail, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> so we're just doing a little starburst as well on this one and then like I did with the other snowflake one I've like gone in with a white sort of so the purple is the outline this time and the white is the inside of the snowflake I just felt it looked like too blobby I think I should have done um the snowflake with it my really small detail of brush but never mind I think it looks I think it looks right now and then just gone in with a little bit of glitter in the middle and obviously some dots <laughs> we always need the dots so this is the last nail that I'm showing you in part one um but I do think so far it does look very, very Frozen 2 inspired. Well, I think so anyway. <laughs> so we're going to shiny top coat that one, obviously. Um. So yeah, if you want to stick around and wait for um, part 2, I will be doing that over the next couple of days. Uh, because this is my next set of nails to wear. <laughs> I may do some decals, I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. But yeah, if you want to stick around, it will be uploaded in the next couple of days. So these are the ones that we've got so far. Thanks for watching. If you could give me a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.